Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about internal resistance. We hinted at this when we talked uh, about batteries at the very beginning of the chapter. <coughs> talked about terminal voltage versus EMF, the battery. Now we're going to make that distinction. <coughs> So the, the dirty little secret is that batteries actually have some resistance to them when there's a current through them. And so we denote the internal resistance of a battery by a lowercase r. Instead of an uppercase r for a resistor, we just call it lowercase r, but it's still a resistance measured in ohms. It's called the internal resistance. <clears throat> The battery, if you, if, if you take what's inside the guts of the battery, equivalently, it has a resistor plus an EMF. And the terminal voltage, so the voltage between the positive and the negative terminals of the battery are going to be related to the internal resistance, the current through the battery, and the what we call the EMF, electromotive force of the battery. That's this internal EMF. And the relationship between them is that the terminal voltage, the voltage that you would measure if you had a voltmeter and you measure the voltage across this uh, <coughs> across the terminals is the intrinsic EMF of the battery minus the current through the battery times the internal resistance. Um, that's the EMF, that's the current, that's the internal resistance measured in ohms. So the next example, so it's V terminal equals V EMF minus I times R. The next example will show you how, uh, how important this may be. So car battery has an EMF of 12 volts. So this is V EMF. And internal resistance of 0.01 ohms. This is R. What is the terminal voltage when the current drawn from the battery is 10 amps versus 100 amps? Well, here's the equation that we talked about. <clears throat> the EMF, the battery is 12 volts. Current is 10 amps in part A times the internal resistance of 0.01. Well, 0.01 times 10 is just 0.1. And 12 minus 0.1 is our old friend, 11.9 volts. So with a medium amount of current through that battery, we're going to get a voltage, a terminal voltage, that's very close to the EMF of the battery of 12 volts. So I want you to go home and, and talk to your uh, housemate, whoever it is, your dog or whoever will listen, and say, my car battery has an EMF of 12 volts. I'm sure they'll be very impressed with you. Now, what if you have a current of 100 amps well, then this term becomes more important, and the terminal voltage is even less than the EMF. So here's 12 volts, the EMF. This is the current of 100 amps times the internal resistance of 0.01. Well, 0.01 times 100 is our old friend 1, and 12 minus 1 is 11. So the more the current you put through a battery, the, the more the lower the terminal voltage will be.